Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you guys my makeup staples, if you want to call it that. So, in today's video, I want to share with you guys what are the products that you will need in order to achieve a flawless face. If you don't know a lot about makeup or you don't really like makeup shopping or you don't want to buy a bunch of products and then try it out. So, I have tried out a lot of products in the last few months and I can't wait to share with you guys what are my favorites so if you want to see what my makeup staples are just please keep watching okay so I'm gonna go in order so I'm going to start with primer. If you have not tried a primer before, I honestly also thought that, oh, it's just a primer. You don't see it, so why buy? Why spend money on it? And you can't even see it. So I have purchased about three or four primers in the last few months. And honestly, my favorite has been the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So this is a very... Um, as you can see, oh, it's a clear, clear, clear consistency and it's so velvety and smooth. So what this will do is this will almost, just like it says, erase your pores and it will give you a really matte finish underneath your foundation. I love using this because I love matte foundations and matte foundations tend out to dry out your skin a lot faster than a normal dewy foundation would. So this is my favorite. So if you don't like the baby skin or if you want to try a different one, I just recommend a pore eraser before you apply your foundation. The next step in our makeup routine would obviously be foundation. So I have two favorites over here. So my two favorites I have is one drugstore and one higher end. So I'm gonna start off with the higher end one which is you guessed it, Max, Max Studio Fix Fluid. I have it in the color NC20. It's a very yellow undertone. And it gives me a beautiful, flawless finish. The same with the Essence All About Matte. You've guys seen me talk about this a billion times in my videos. And I found that I tend to go more towards this one than this one. This is a lot more expensive than this one. So, um, I think that's why I try to use this one more than the MAC. But honestly, I love both of them. So, my second makeup staple would be a matte foundation. Um, if you have really dry skin, the primer will help for that. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people have asked me, what brushes do you use for applying your foundation? What is the right brush to use? Oh, it's... Everybody makes it so technical. When it's simple, I use um, different applications all the time. But my favorite one for a flawless airbrush finish is the Beauty Blender. This one has gone through hull, honestly, because it's starting to break and tear apart. I don't know. So this is the Beauty Blender. Um, this is not a authentic beauty blending brand. This is just a drugstore one that I got from Clicks or Disc Game, I believe. So this one was very cheap. I mean, a beauty blender can last you, I mean, this one has lost me, and it's going to sound gross, but almost six months. Um, I'm going to go buy me a new one, don't worry. But you literally just dampen it up with normal tap water, and then you dab and blend your foundation with it. So this is my third makeup essential, which is the beauty blender. And then if you have watched my channel or my tutorials for a little while now, you, you know that I will never do a face without concealer. I always do the highlighting, down the nose, down the forehead and the chin. So uh, <laughs> whenever I go to a makeup store, I always buy concealer. <laughs> I don't know. And I have so many favorites here. Um... Okay, so I'm going to start off with the higher end one, which is the MAC um, 
think this is the Mineralize Skin Finish Concealer, whatever. I have it in the shade NC20. So this one is not as full coverage as some of the others may be. But it gives you a very long, longer lasting, um, what's the word, like flawless, flawless finish. Oh, I can't even speak. Um, yeah, so this one is not as full coverage as some of the others may be, but it's high quality. Well, it better be because the price is a bit higher than the others. So my second favorite, there's a tie between these two, the LA Gold Pro Conceal and the Essence All About Matte. I've done a tutorial on this one and on this one, <laughs> I've used this one the most. Um, so I have this one in the shade Natural and this one in Matte Beige. Okay, so those are my two favorites for drugstore and then higher end. So concealer is my fourth, I don't know. So concealer is another staple or essential in my makeup routine. Just do that again. Okay, so everyone always asks, why do you have to set your foundation and your concealer? It makes me feel so cakey and it looks so cakey. All of those stories, but in fact, I believe that if you set your foundation with a powder, it makes your makeup last so much longer and also with the application that you use. So my favorite powder of all time is the MAC, the MAC Selectia Pressed Powder. And I have hit the pan a while ago and I'm so sad about it, but I'm waiting until I run out before I grab a new one. Um, so this one is an NC20, so it's the same shade as my foundation. And honestly, this powder does not oxidize on my skin. I've tried the Estee Lauder, translu no, Estee Lauder loose powder, and I've tried Elizabeth Arden. I've tried the most expensive makeup brands out there, and they all oxidize on my skin. So this one is not too expensive. I think it's about 250 rand, so it's not that bad. And then... To apply your powder, you need a powder brush. You can go, you don't need a shadow brush, you don't need a foundation brush, but you need a powder brush and a, bl a bleh. <laughs> but you need a powder brush and a big fluffy one. So the one that I am loving and all of my brushes are in this brand is Real Techniques. So this is what it looks like. It's really fluffy and soft and dirty. Sorry. <laughs> but I love this brush. It just goes all over the face. So effortless and smooth. And it doesn't put too much product on your face either. Okay, so next in my makeup routine, I would normally do my eyebrows. So, yes, I do recommend a brow product if you have not ever tried brows before. And you want to try it for the first time. Um... I recommend either buying a powder or a pencil because if you are a little bit heavy handed this product that I'm going to show you now might not work for you so <laughs> my favorite brow product at the moment is the fluid line brow something I don't know so basically what this is it's just a gel Almost like a gel liquid liner, the black that you would buy in the pot, except it's for your eyebrows and this one is dirty blonde. This is the color that it comes out, I don't know. So it's the same color as my roots and I love it. I used to dye my brows dark brown and I thought it looked so amazing, but I really like the brown now. Okay, so to apply this little fluid line, you will need a brush. So... If you decide to try out a pencil or a, a powder, the product normally comes with a little tip brush or an angular tip type of brush, so then you don't have to worry with it, but this does not come with a brush. You need to purchase a brush separately. So the one that I've been using is the MAC 266SE brush. So it just looks like this. Okay, so after brows, I normally do my eyes. So, 
I'm not a big eyeshadow girl. I don't know. I, I prefer brows or lashes or lips or contouring. But I am not a big shadow girl. So this is my favorite shadow. And then what you can always do is you can use a bronzer for eyeshadow. I do that all the time and I love how that looks. So, but if you want to go, if you want to purchase a shadow, then you can always go for this one. So, this has been my favorite shadow for so, so, so many months, probably a year. Um, this is probably my fourth little shadow pop, I think that's what they're called. So, this one is from Revlon and it's in the color Melon. So, yeah, this is my favorite shadow but like I said I normally just use a bronzer or a blush for my eyeshadow I have all of these fancy shadow palettes but for day-to-day -day use I barely use them I just use them for special occasions when I want to do a really nice eye look with them but to be honest with you on a day-to-day -day basis I just use bronzer for my eyelids and it's so lazy but I love it Okay, so, and to blend the eyeshadow or your bronzer onto your eyelids, I love the Real Techniques. This is the base shadow brush. <laughs> Oops. This is the base shadow brush, and I love this brush. I always use it on my eyelids. It gives you such a flawless, blended look, and I love it. Okay, so next, let's just keep with the eyes, mascara. So, you need a mascara. Just buy a mascara. And you're good to go. I'm not going to say what is my favorite because I just basically use one that is compatible with my eyelashes. So you guys know what mascara I use. I just use Essence Mascara. So that is my another makeup essential or staple. That is mascara. So after mascara, there's two products left. Which is, and I'm going to categorize them in the same category. <laughs> Bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So I have three products over here. This one can be used as bronzer and highlighter. So this is the Essence Shading Powder. And you guys have seen me talk about this a million times. And I'm sorry I'm talking about it again. It's just I love it so much. I love the bronzing powder specifically. I don't use the highlighter too much because it's not that pigmented. But I love the bronzing powder. It's a very warm bronze. And I love warm bronze. I have it on today. I always do. And I think it's so beautiful and flawless. It, it's not too muddy. I just love it. Okay, so that is that. So if you want to purchase this, just this one, it has a bronzer and a highlighter in it. So you save a lot of money and this is not expensive. Okay, so the next one is highlighter. <sighs> I love highlighter. It's just, I'm like a little kid in a candy store. I just love highlighter. So whenever I go to MAC, I just try out all the highlighters, but it's so, so, so expensive. So you get a lot of cheap highlighters, but in my opinion, this is the best highlighter you will ever purchase. Um, they say this is more for fairer skin, fairer to medium. So if you have dark skin, do not buy this. Um, because you would look like a shiny, shiny doll. I don't know. But this is called Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And it's from MAC, of course. Um, I have it on. So I have it on today. So if you can see my highlight just love it I put a little bit on the tops of my cheeks above my eyebrows down the bridge of my nose and the tip as well and also on my cupid's bow so that's the only place that I use it for and this will honestly last you so 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 long honestly because I've had this for probably two months and it's still like I don't know if you can see it's not even gone flat yet so last but not least, we have one more product left, blush. Okay, so I used to hate blush. I'm not a blush girl. I hate pink cheeks. I just think it looks so tacky and so overdone. But then I found this. So this is called Baby Doll. <laughs> it's such a cute name, but... 
Hold on. Hello? Sorry. What was I saying? <laughs> okay. So then I found this blush and it is honestly the I've got it on today, but you can barely you can barely tell. So that is the goal. I literally just dip and just just flick. Okay. So um I love this blush. So blush in me in my so blush in my opinion is not a essential but I just love this one so just to clear that so to apply all of these products I use one brush not for the highlighter for the highlighter I use a different brush but for the highlighter you can use your fingers it's so so simple and doesn't take a lot of effort at all so I use this blush brush you can use any blush brush that you want or that you have or that you can afford this is the MAC one and I've used it forever this was about the first um, expensive brush that I purchased so um, yeah I just use this for contouring um, and for blush but not for highlighter for highlighter I use a different brush